Welcome to Snapdragon in 5, a new series where we talk about all things Snapdragon in different spots around San Diego, Qualcomm's hometown. I'm your host, Tech Me Out. I'm a content creator, tech enthusiast, and an entrepreneur. And like many of you, I'm also a part of the Snapdragon Insiders, a global community full of millions of Snapdragon fans. Insiders are a vocal community. You ask us what you want to know, and we'll tell you. And in this series, we're going to be answering a few of those questions. I'm here today on the Inspiration Hornblower out on the beautiful San Diego Bay, right by the airport. And I'm joined with our special guest, Andrea Hogan from Qualcomm. And today we're talking about 5G PCs. So what exactly is a 5G PC? So simply put, it's just a laptop with 5G connectivity. Ah. We've been working with our customers for years to build Chromebooks and Windows-based PCs, always on and always connected. And 5G is just the next adventure. When you say always connected and always on, like what does that exactly mean? Could you explain it? Yeah, there are two critical features for a PC. They address really serious pain points for people. So always on is that battery life pain point, right? So these PCs are designed to last for days and you know, not running out three, four or five hours so you can leave your power cord at home. And the always connected is you don't have to rely on Wi-Fi spots. Sometimes they're not available and they're not uber secure. So you, you now have this cellular connectivity option so that you are connected regardless of what is available to you at that given moment. It definitely can change the way that we work, the way that we use our devices for media. Exactly. So, exactly. Like it takes the thinking out of it, you know, it takes yes. the guesswork out of it. And you yes. are just connected. You can be in a car, in a taxi, in a train, on a boat, <laughs> and you are connected. I see what yeah. you did there. <laughs> <laughs> so what are the advantages of a 5G PC? Where do I start? So <laughs> to begin with, you've got, like I mentioned, you've got this ultra fast, lightning fast connectivity. And it's not just 5G, it's 4G LTE and it's Wi-Fi 6. You've got battery life that lasts for days. You've got great security features. So built-in security features that make your logins and your passwords secure with full Windows 10 support. And now these ultra thin light form factors, which make them really, really portable and easy to take wherever you go. What would you say is next for 5G PCs? I think the 5G PC is getting, it's finally getting its moment in the sun and this space has been, you know, ripe for reinvention and for change and for a makeover for a long time. So I see PCs getting more secure, getting more portable, getting more connected, getting faster, getting more intelligence built in. I see this PC becoming more essential to the home and becoming the essential connected central communication device to your extended digital wardrobe, like your smartphone, your smart glasses, your smart watch, your smart home, your smart car. So I really think the PC is going to get a lot cooler and, uh, and it's here to stay. Looking forward to seeing that. <laughs> so, okay, random question for you. Okay. If you could work anywhere in the world, where would it be and why? You know, that's the beauty of the 5G PC now. You mm -hmm. don't have to choose. I'll tell you, last year I went back to Ireland in the middle of pandemic and I had to quarantine for two weeks Ooh. in the west coast of Ireland in a cottage in the middle of nowhere. And thanks to my 5G PC, I didn't skip a beat. And uh, that's a game changer. Yeah. Sounds like it. <laughs> so that's it for today. Thank you so much, Andrea, for My joining pleasure. us. I really appreciate you answering all of these questions. And to all of you out there, if you want to learn more about the Snapdragon Insiders program, you can refer down below to the description box. Also, feel free to drop any additional questions that you may have. And if you feel inclined to, you can always hit that like and subscribe button as well. Until the next video, 